colored screen I didn't think I had to find out this way I knew you tell me brother don't you even worry I'll see you in the desert land soon I'm here with the band Elk Hound, who just performed the song Arizona off their debut release, which is coming up. Uh, before we get into all of that, uh, would you like to introduce yourselves and what do you play? Uh, my name is Chris. I play guitar and sing vocals. Uh, I'm Ryan. I play bass and I sing too. My name's Lou. I play the drums. 
Greg, keyboards and accordion. Right on. And uh, you describe yourself, is this true as alt country rock or is that, is that okay or? It's close enough, right? Yeah, I mean, we, we don't really fit into one complete genre, I don't think. We kind of dabble around a little bit, so. And you dabble around, like, what are your influences as um, songwriters and players? I, I mean, I love Graham Parsons, um, Neil Young, you know, all that sort of singer-songwriter stuff. Uh -huh. um, but we, you know, everyone's got the, kind of their own, their own thing. Ryan's got quite, quite the uh, eclectic mix as well. Oh, uh, yeah? For, like, what's the, what would surprise me was, like, what do you jam on? Uh, a lot of, like, Miles Davis and John Zorn kind of stuff. Yeah. Frank how, Zappa is big. Oh, uh, yeah? And how about you guys, like, influences? Tom Waits and NRBQ. Nice, okay. Get a little. Yeah, I'm a little more pop-oriented. I would say maybe Eels or, um, you know, McCartney, Beatles stuff. Right on. And you know, that sort of thing. Yeah. So are you guys all from Pittsburgh, or how did the band start? Uh... Uh, well, uh, yeah, I think we're, we're all, all from Pittsburgh. Born, right? and, born and raised? Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Great, great. Uh, not, not I. Where, where were you born? I am a transplanted Baltimore. Uh, okay. Baltimore. I guess, yeah. Brian, Sorry Brian's to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but you've been a year, you all live in Pittsburgh, obviously, right now. Yeah. And uh, yes. how, how long have you been a band? How, when did the band start? And, About five uh, years. Yeah, Ryan and I started playing... Yeah, geez, 20, yeah, 2013. And when, how did you meet? Uh, we met through uh, a buddy of ours, Ben. We uh, both teach private lessons at a music, like a company that does uh, uh, music store around the area. Wh which store? Uh, Johnston Buzz Music Centers. They they have uh, three different locations. Okay, what's the name of it? Johnston Buzz Music Centers. Johnston Buzz Music Centers. Yeah. And you teach what? I teach guitar, bass, ukulele, uh, a little bit of lap steel in, uh, in Bridgeville, where I live. Okay, cool. Um, Ryan? Ryan's up uh, north. Yeah, I teach uh, percussion, bass, guitar, and ukulele. And so you met through the, the store? Yeah, yeah, we were running a camp, actually, teaching yeah. kids how to play rock songs. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and then you were just like, hey, man, do you play? have you ever played out uh, in other bands? Or I'm sure you have, but like locally? Actually, the first, I mean, the first time I think we really got to chatting was I, I saw you play with King Fez. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. At, at Arsenal Bowl. Okay. And, um, the old days. Yeah. I used to play in a band called X Planet, so it was kind of more along the lines of uh, alt rock 90s kind of revival sort of stuff. So, what so, year is this? Early aughts? That, that was like uh, 20, yeah, 2013, 2014. Oh, yeah. 2014. Okay, yeah. wow. I played in a bunch of groups growing up. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah. So, um, but, you know, how do you write? Who writes the songs? Who writes the lyrics? Who, what happens there? Uh, we kind of, we kind, we both kind of write, and okay. it, uh, I mean, usually, uh, if you know, if I come up with uh, the lyrics and the majority of like the chord changes for a song, then we just kind of workshop, it and Ryan kind of does the same thing. We just <laughs> sort of start with a big core idea and then take it from there, and then you know, we'll either demo stuff out or we'll just jam it with with Greg and Lou and uh -huh. kind of go from there. So you, do you uh, guys write at all, or? Nope, I just show up and try to play the drums the way that they want me to, and right. hopefully it'll work out and when contribute some of my own ideas. When did you join the band? Uh, I've been in there for almost a year now, okay, I think. Cool. I'm yep. the newest member at this point. Uh, right. I saw them at uh, the North Side, and uh, I actually went out to see um, the headlining band a buddy of mine plays bass for. Um, I think that was, was that a Nightly Standard gig? Yeah, it was, nightly okay. standard. It was a Nightly Standard, yeah. yeah. My buddy Dave plays bass for right them. Uh, we went to college together, and I was just sort of out there, and he knew that these guys were looking for a drummer and said, oh, you got to go, go talk to them. Yep. Um, so then we hung out for a little bit there, and then that brought me into the group at the time I was looking for a new project. Nice. And, uh, yeah, the timing worked out, and the sound worked out, so it was a good fit. How about you, Greg? How'd you join the band? I was, a, I was orphaned from my last band, and I found these guys through the magic of... Craigslist. Unbelievably. <laughs> really? And, and, wow. and, and showed up and auditioned, and Ryan paid me the ultimate compliment by saying, it's nice to meet someone through Craigslist who's not a douchebag. <laughs> There's and a lot of douchebags in Craigslist. They, they had me. So. Yep. <laughs> well, yeah, you had me at it, not a douchebag. <laughs> That's, a, that's an easy sell. Yep. Nice so, so now uh, the quartet here, is it yeah. pretty solid? Is it like you feel good about it? And yeah. This is the band on the album yes. that's yes. coming up? Yeah. And the album that uh, is coming up is uh, self-titled? Uh, it's called Along the Highway. Along the Highway by Elk Hound. Yes. Like why Elk Hound? Um, 
my brother uh, gave, well, he, he played with Ryan and I for a little while. Uh -huh. um, our first family dog growing up was a German Shepherd Husky Elk Hound mix, Norwegian Elk Hound. Uh -huh. And he was just like, that sounds like a really cool name. Yeah. And we had one of those meetings where we bands sit around and throw out like 50 terrible names in a row. And then he was just like, how about Elk Hound? And you're like, yeah. Ian's got away with, my brother's got away with words. Was He's, beer involved? I'm beer, sure. Beer's <laughs> always involved. Yeah. Always involved. Or else it's the night. Uh, the morning after, <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, well, we gotta, water. you know, so Elk Hound, which I like the name, and like if you, uh, but it's Googleable, you know, it's like yeah. hard, you have to do Elk Hound Pittsburgh Band, mm. you know what I mean, because then yep. you'll get all kinds of yep. puppy mills stuff or whatever, <laughs> yeah. you know, you gotta be careful. There's actually an Elk Hound Rescue out in uh, Whitehall, I think. Really? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. you, so, might, get there, you might get them before us. Yeah. yeah. The album release is going to be November 3rd. Mm -hmm. uh, where at? The Capitol Cathedral in Millville. And why, why, you guys are Millville, is that your, your uh, home? No, we, we've had a lot of luck there. It's, it's a, a cool little neighborhood. Um, they, have, they have a lot of neat bars, a lot of nice venues. It's a little bit off the beaten path. It's not that far off. It's, not far it's, off. You know, it's, but it is its, its own funky little... It's having kind of a, a resurgence, you know. Yeah. They, they have a lot of cool festivals that happen there. And right. A lot of music's popping up there. But every time I... Uh, you guys play there a lot. We try and, to, yeah. Yeah, and so the Capitol Cathedral, mm -hmm. where, where is, is that an actual church? It was formerly a church, and now I believe it's privately owned. I haven't actually met... What street is that on? I, I do not remember. It's, it's right down the street from uh, Mr. Smalls. Okay, so it's... Um, uh, is it a ve regular venue, or is this a special thing no, for your it's release? No, it's kind of a special thing. Nice. Yeah. Who else is on the bill? Uh, Jenny and the Jags would be playing, our friend Brian McQuaid, and Molly Alphabet. Nice. And this is November 3rd, which is a mm -hmm. Saturday? Mm -hmm. Yes. And you can go uh, find information, tickets and stuff, or just come and show up and have a good time. Yes. Nice. nice. And then uh, we were talking, Jenny contacted me about a fundraiser for the album release. <laughs> So I don't know if this will air in time, but it's going to be October 15th, which is a Monday. Or yeah, it's it's Taking Back Mondays is the is Okay, the so it's a Monday, and it's, at, uh, it's in Millville. Mm -hmm. And where, Cousin, where? Cousins Lounge. Cousins Lounge. Pittsburgh's it's Best Dive Bar. Pittsburgh's <laughs> Best dive bar, dive bar, but she wants me to be a, a guest bartender. We all want you to be a guest bartender. You, yeah. want, you invited me to be a guest bartender, which... Uh, you know, it's kind of a dangerous notion, <laughs> you know, having me with the tap behind the thing. But since it's a Monday and I probably have to work. Uh, you won't have to work very hard at all. It's just. Well, I'm of... talking I have to work the next day. So, uh. <laughs> you know, I'll probably. Yeah, I, I, I think I can handle that. But I'm looking forward to that. Cool. cool. That'll be fun. Yeah. So uh, as for the future, uh, you, uh, this is your first release. Mm -hmm. And uh, what do you expect from the band? Are you Did you ever have any expectations? Like you're just gigging around and. Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, you know, sort of long-term goals um, that Ryan and I have talked about before is, you know, just, just getting out of town next summer and just try to hit, hit you know, Pennsylvania, Ohio, just the tri-state area, try to, you know, just get on the road. Um, our goal is to start demoing and just getting new material as soon as we're, we're pretty much over the, the hump here. So. Yeah, and you guys are along with that, or...? You know, yeah. is, is this... Tell me where to show up, bring my drums, I'll show up. And are you, you, you all, I assume, have day jobs to be, yeah. you know, like to be able to take off something like that, or is that possible? Or? These two have respectable day jobs. Yeah. Chris and I are just kind of like laid We're, we're vagrants, <laughs> yeah. Really? But you, te you still teach at the yeah. store? Yeah, we both teach. I, I'm going to be actually working at the, the same music store, um, like retail, again, just to kind of make ends meet, but mm -hmm. it's, it's convenient, so... Um, but yeah, you know, it's, things are pretty flexible. We, we, we book well in advance, I think, so we usually can get things you know, on the calendar and, and worked out. Right. And we also have a lot of friends that thankfully are willing to sit in with us for minimal pay. Yeah, <laughs> like do you, do you jam with other people in the scene or what do you think about Pittsburgh yeah. right now? I mean, compared to when I moved here in 07, I think the scene is like really great right now. There's so many good bands of all different styles. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, I mean, it really is. And Greg, I guess you've your other band. You've been around the scene. You feel the same way, or I, I, I do, and it's 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 really blossoming. I mean, the Deutsch Town Festival is an example of that. Right. You know, the number of bands they can put together for that. that right. Fair is just amazing. Even uh, the Millville Music mm -hmm. Festival. I mean, yeah, that's exactly. you know, it's in its second year, going to be third yeah. year, 
and uh, it's just amazing, you know, just the number of submissions, mm -hmm. the people who want to play, yeah. you know what I mean? And uh, just, uh, you know, we might have went a little nuclear on the <laughs> amount of bands this year. Yeah. I, I mean, it's just like, what are we doing, you know? Yeah. But it was fun as an exercise, I think, but we'll see. I'm trying to convince the guys to tone it down a little yeah. bit. Make it more, a little bit more concise. And, mm -hmm. But no, it's, it speaks to the amount of talent. And yeah. uh, where did it come from? Like, it's, it's like, everybody tries to say like, oh, well, why is the scene booming like this? Mm -hmm. It's like young people moving in or young people who move in want to see bands or are in bands. It's just yeah. weird. Yeah, know? I don't know. I don't know. The college scene in Pittsburgh helps a lot. It does. But it, there's always been college scene, yeah. you know? Think about it. There's yeah. always been, and, and the college scene stays in Oakland. Yeah. Like, there are no colleges in Millville or Northside. You yeah. know what I mean? And so it's like, I don't even know if, how many venues there are in, you know. Yeah. I, I just, I don't know. It's, it's strange. You know, I guess we're, we're older, it seems like. It just seems like the young, you know, people in their 20s and 30s are just here yeah. now. And they're talented. And yeah. It's crazy. I, I also think it's a phenomenon of the social network yeah. scene, too. And, and I right. think that's something that's much more prevalent that wasn't 10, 15 years ago. And right. I think, you know, people getting other people out through those, right. through those aspects. Right, know? absolutely. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. But uh, you're going to play uh, two more songs, and the next song is called Lonesome. Yes. And this will be on the new album as well, and mm -hmm. so will the third one. Yep. Cool. We're looking forward to it. Thanks so much for coming, guys. No problem. Thank you. Really, I really appreciate it. And you know, you've been on my short list to be on here for a while, so I'm so glad it worked out. Yeah. yeah thank right you on. Thank, yep. you. thank you. Yeah. Oh, how, how it feels to 